Welcome back to a second playthrough of Detroit Become Human. Going for the violence path. Going for the trophy where you get Connor killed as many times as possible. I'm just generally trying to do things differently than we did the first time. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife Warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. I didn't pay attention to there was a choice right there. And I don't remember what I choice made last time anyway. There's a third option. all very silly. It's all very silly that he knows where the drones are going to go. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Last time I messed that up and needed help. Quick, open the other crates with the drones. 
Take as much as you can. So, nothing else I can do right now. Hey. You were trespassing on private property. No, no, we're cool. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Kill guard, grab and hide. Oh. What's that? Run away. Now we're gonna kill the guard. We're in the violence path. What are you doing? I told you to. There we go. <laughs> Let's finish up and get out of here. Josh is the only one that cares. Find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. But he can just go ahead and have a problem with it. That's what we're doing. We're being violent. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, dead guy. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? You could join us. There we go. That's all we can carry. Let's go. I don't think I did that last Take time. I think I just you. closed it. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. It's not worth the risk. We have what we need. We can go over the fence. It's the quickest way out. Okay, then. Let's go. Just making a different choice than I did last time. Even though I kind of want to do it. Even though I want to do it, we got to make a different choice.
And that gets us a much quicker ending to the chapter. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Yes, I do have blood on my hands. It's only the beginning. Only the beginning. What is this pathway over here? Oh, I guess you can just run. I guess when you run there, you just skip all of that. And you just escape with nothing. Alright, well we've got some stuff. Not a full truck, but we got some bags. Hello! Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Well, sure somebody's gonna get drilled. It's the address in the report. Somebody's gonna get drilled. Somebody's okay. gonna get some head. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Happy hour, more like happy ten minutes. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? 
We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway. What's, what's you don't mind. funny about that? Come on, let's go. It's, uh, Why is that supposed to be funny? To in here. <laughs> See, now that one's, that one's a little bit funny. Good night, Lieutenant. Starting to smell like booze and a single bullet and a revolver in here. Am I right, Hank? It, al it already smelled like pig because we were already in here, but... Oh, I'm playing. So, hey, Hank, you want? let's catch up. Let's talk, Hank. Android first, that's my people. Drivers Place that says Michael Graham. Credit card. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. I couldn't see what that said. Android examined. Okay. Next broke. Or strangulated. Oh. I thought his neck was broke. But he's just strangulated. Oh, one of these, huh? Some people are into that. Some people are into this. Of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? <laughs> I 
there was another beep, android. Beep, 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 beep. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? Alright, now we gotta play this game. Maybe, maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. I'll figure out who Everybody saw it. Let me connect to the dancers. Hello. That's what people appreciate about Eden Club. Discretion. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. But he doesn't trust me. He doesn't trust me at all. Why is he following through? Hello. A 30-minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm your purchase. I don't need 30 minutes. This is not going to look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Probe. This isn't the kind of probe I'm used to. Oh shit. What the hell are you doing? It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be for me. It was in a room, it wasn't in its box. No. I lost its track again. Would you stop whipping around like crazy? There we go. Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took.
Ugh, it's all dudes in here. Hey there, buddy. Trying to look behind you, though. No. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. No, I, I see her. Yeah. What's she gonna do though? Just hang out on the wall? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let me. Let me click. It's. There we go. Blue room. I could have just gone into the blue room first, saved Hank some money. left the room. Uh. Alright then. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Ah. I know where it went. Follow me. Ah, oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Well, there's definitely been some fucking A going on Wait. in here, but that's I'll not relevant. Here. It's not relevant to the investigation, Hank. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. Yes, Hank, that has already happened to me like four times in this game. So you shouldn't be surprised. Hey, there's 
there's a north back there. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. Cook what you want, they screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Girls are mean. I wasn't prepared for that trigger button. Here we go. Just doing my job, ma'am. Doing my job. Why? Why did you kill her? Deviant. She had nothing to do with any of this. Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you... You've taken her away from me. Well, I'm trying to get the bad ending, though. I love her. We won't. We won't do it I next loved time. Her. Oh my God. I did it the first time, and I had to do it this time. I'm not actually sure I had to do it this time, but I know I gotta keep my relationship bad with Hank. And and I'm 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 doing my job. 
I can't let him go. I got to do my job. Apparently there's two different endings. Oh, if you lose the fight. It's weird how it splits apart and then comes back together in the middle. But if you win the fight, you can only get the top two. If you lose the fight, you can get the bottom two. Get the middle one either way. Still missed a couple of clues. Oh, that seems to lead to a different ending. Maybe. Apparently you can fail to find it all together, maybe? Well, anyway. Get your booties, because it's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Oh, I can look. But look, but don't talk. The AX400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police appeared to lose its trail after a close encounter with investigators. The android's description has been shared with all local law enforcement and the investigation. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. We have just learned that the USS Iowa a destroyer-class submarine patrolling in the region is reported to have disappeared after surfacing for repairs. President Biden called for a crisis meeting of high-ranking officers in the White House. With the world on the brink of war, this incident could well be the spark that lights the fuse. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is likely to persist over the coming days up until Monday evening. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. Okay. Motor. Yep, I know what all that is. It's smoke. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. We can stay around here, Carol. Mm -hmm. 
Look, we broke down right next to this road sign. Pirate's Cove. Me hearties. Over there. Haven't haven't you just just once in your life wanted to get your timbers shivered? shelter. anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going.
All right, you little brat. Robe brat. She's a robe brat. Alice? Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot. who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted that house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but, but they wanted so badly to be free they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot. Who left his master to travel with them. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Do you remember anything from your life? 
before his laptop? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes, of course. She's a She's robot. She's a wonderful little girl. Oh, yes. I, mean, I don't know many little girls, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she really is special. No, she's a special model, yeah. Cara! And the zombies. Walking Dead time. I wonder if Our I could have Jared. grabbed the gun and started shooting. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who... What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. I want to. I want to see if I can grab the gun and shoot him. Probably won't let me shoot him though. You know, showing stuff is completed that I didn't do on this playthrough. And I'm worried about messing up my game. Like, maybe you have to finish the chapter before it updates that thing from the last time I played? Because I did not check the frozen android this time. Okay.
Yeah, there we go. There we go, okay, yeah. I did not switch on Ivan either. Okay. Hmm. Don't know what's missing there. Fire warning shot. We can't actually shoot one. Lame. Wonder what I missed in the tavern. Fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. What? What did I miss? I don't see anything. I can't figure anything out. I tried offering the cookie the last time she didn't want it. No, no. Look at the right thing. Sweet dreams. Can you 
Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Uh, goodnight, Luther. Yes, of course. Haha, <laughs> I made joke. You better not copy what I did. That's what I did this time. I didn't even realize he could copy me because he does that every time, but I can do that too. Hey Luther, can I borrow your gun? Luther, I have zombie phobia, can I borrow your gun? I did have a gun earlier, I don't know where my gun went. I'm gonna borrow. I'm gonna borrow your gun on zombies. She's a sweet girl. She's not that sweet. Yes. She's kind of, kind of an annoying brat. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? R.A. 9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? I forget if we find out, if we ever find out what R.A. 9 actually is. No. What do you mean? Okay, Mama Bear's here. Mama Bear's gonna teach these zombies a lesson. Stop! One more step and I'll shoot! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to she frighten you, but sometimes gun away humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Are you gonna just trust these weirdos? What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. 
We'll be gone tomorrow. I'd still have girl? the gun in the face if it was me. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! Okay, fine. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Where are you guys getting all this electricity? Isn't this place like been closed down? Why is this? Who's paying the power bill? Jerry? Are you selling drugs to get drug money to pay the power bill just so you can have a, a carousel? Is that the one you want? Can we choose a different one? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I know it's scary. Is that one carousel from Silent Hill, but don't worry. Sybil's not going to be here. have mixed feelings about replaying this game because some parts of it there's like so many different choices and then some parts are really really linear it makes you get to a certain outcome like there's not much branching here it's like something some some things go totally different and that's cool and then some things aren't much different at all. I thought I was hoping I could actually like shoot one of them, you know, increase my body count a little bit. But we'll be back next time, hopefully with something a little more different than what we got the first time that we played. <laughs>